periphery of a song that's over 16 minutes long. That is too long <laughs> for a song. At least from the songs that I've appreciated in the past. Like, what could possibly take 16 minutes and 44 seconds to, like, arc? I'm fascinated to find out. So shout out to Tundra for requesting this live on Twitch. I've enjoyed a lot of what I've heard from Periphery. They're a very interesting band. Let's see what Reptile has in store <laughs> for the next 16 minutes and 44 seconds. And go. Oh, we have a little quartet going on here. Epic. Sounds like we have some cellos, violins. I love that it's hail stand. The vocals there. Theatrical delivery. All right. We got some energy. right there for that effect. Great drummer. Oh. Goddamn. Busy. It's fucking nice. It's like a super heavy coheed in Cambria. Don't hate me if you hate that comparison. Oh. Man, that's built together so nicely. We're 
leaning in. Hi hat accents are matching the guitar. That's pretty precise. A little extra symbol. That's so technical. Rhythmically. That line is a callback from earlier. Totally different arrangement though. So satisfying. Love that closed hi hat within the gap. God damn. That's great. Oh, that's fucking gorgeous. Wow. The power. Hey. Oh, we're back down again. Some tasty drum work. Ah, oh, that little pinched harmonic. Wow. Oh my god, the drums. Sounds like more than one open hi hat. That's a big wash. The vocals a bit odd. So tasteful. Wow, a little hit the reverb. Wow. That's amazing. Wow! 
He's an impressive vocalist. <laughs> That's Phil. We got there. What is that additional lead guitar bit? Ooh, curious. It's so satisfying the way it rolls over itself. The snare just keeps everything in line. Despite the busyness around it. That sound is so wild. Oh. Oh. Turn it back to the, the orchestra. Gorgeous. What an ambitious song. Some of the melodies. Largely mashed on the drums. Totally in this section. Okay, interesting editing on it. Oh, fuck. The fluidity of some of this drummer's fills. Fucking great. So good at maybe sneeze. Back up to those screams. That 
fretting on the strings like a ticket clock. It's just one chord. All the rhythm. No idea how long we've been listening. I don't know if we're in the 16 minute mark or not. A lot's happened. Okay. Digital keyboard bass. Bit of space for thought. Experience. And it eventually fades down to silence. Well, oh my God. Tell you what, 16 minutes, 44 seconds, I was at no point bored or hoping that they'd wrap it up. Which is a bit of a surprise. I wasn't necessarily expecting that with such a long song. But maybe it's kind of like a, a couple of songs tied together, but pretty seamlessly. And certainly there was moments way late in that song where there's a callback lyric to something in the water that I remember from earlier on. So they were nursing some themes in that. And then towards the end as well, the very end, I had the kind of orchestral music come back in with the cellos and violins. Quite gorgeous. The vocalist, Spencer, like... What a talent. I mean, it's a bit of a marmite voice, right? It's quite nasally, but you cannot deny the ability of him to hook your attention in with the sort of emotive edge that he can he can produce. The force of some of the notes he comes out with, but also the range of scream moments and twisting up into that. It all mirrors so well what's happening with the music arrangement behind it, which is incredible. And so fucking cool. It, it really, that whole song just danced between glorious different rhythmic moments and patterns and things and interlaced with each other. The syncopation was like delectable. The drummer was unbelievable. Some beautifully fluid drum fills that connected everything together. Incredibly technical song. How the fuck are you going to play that live? Once you start the song, you're like, oh my God, well, I'm in now. I gotta, I gotta remember everything and play it really well for the next 17 minutes. That's wild. That's a wild song. So impressive on so many levels, technically, and in terms of the songwriting, just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And I'm not really a prog dude, mostly, you know? That's not really what, what totally butters my bread. It's a weird sentence, don't know why I said that, but it's what came out in the moment. I think you know what I mean. It's just not really quite my jam. However, that was fucking sick. I thought that was brilliant. It, and I think I said it during the reaction, but it reminded me like, it's like the, the heaviest Coheed and Cambria could be at their best. And a bit of Eye of the Mighty in there as well. A bit of Thrice, actually, in, in some, some ways as well. There was, a, there was one particular moment where I thought of Thrice. I thought that was quite brilliant. And... I would tend to agree with the, the comments that came before I checked that out, that that is a phenomenal piece of music. It's just so impressive. And not just a feat in like technical show-offery, but incredibly satisfying. Some of the chord progressions that happened in there and the melodies that sat over them and how they were delivered by the vocals were just 
glorious. And it was an incredible piece of music. It really was. Fucking hell. A a well-spent, damn near 17 minutes, on periphery. That really kind of blew my mind. At no point was I bored. Or, or hoping, like, come on, I think you've made your point. Like, it was just, it was eminently interesting from start to finish. And it was a phenomenal experience. Thank you, Tundra, for that. Well done, Periphery, that was pretty exceptional. 